Hey art nerds, as part of my How to Draw a Flower series, I'm going to show you how to draw cherry blossoms today. The season here in Nashville has just ended, which is such a shame because I really, really love cherry blossoms. You guys probably see them pop up a lot in my art. So I'm really excited to show you guys how to draw these today. We're going to be working from this reference image and I'll post the link down in the description below to the original source since it's not my photo. So the materials we're going to use are very simple. We're using a Blick Studio watercolor pad because I want to watercolor these later. We're using a mechanical pencil with H lead in it. And we're also going to use a Sakura Pigma FB brush pen to later ink our finished illustration. So we're going to start by lightly sketching in the branch. And then we're going to sketch in these circular shapes. These are going to represent our individual cherry blossoms. In some of our past videos, we've talked about drawing complex flowers like hydrangea and hyacinth. It's a very similar principle where we have a branch of flowers that we're going to be drawing. So this is our very basic branch shape with the circles to break it down. And I find sketching in the circles first helps me plan a composition that works better. Next, we're going to start breaking down our circles into individual flowers. Each cherry blossom flower has five petals and the center has a star like shape. So we're going for kind of teardrop shaped petals where they're pointed at both ends, but very fat in the middle. And then we're going to add ruffles, just little indentations at the top of each petal. So I'm working flower by flower drawing in this detail. So when it comes to flowers, patience is a virtue. And the more patient you are, the more time you spend, the slower you go. And the more you work from reference, the better your end flower is going to be. I'm not aiming for photorealism here. I'm a comic artist. I'm a cartoonist. I caricature things. So I'm aiming for what feels like cherry blossoms rather than an exact interpretation of cherry blossoms. So for the most part, now we have our cherry blossoms kind of blocked in. I've been working very heavily from the reference and something I want to point out is that for the most part, when a cherry blossom tree is in full bloom, you're not going to see a lot of the green leaves. That would be more like an apple blossom or an apple tree where you get those beautiful little bright green leaves juxtaposed against the pink flowers. So now that I have everything kind of basically sketched in, I can go in and start adding tighter detail. Now, depending on how confident you are with your inking, you may decide you want to do this step entirely in inks. But for me, and what I recommend if you're just getting used to inking, or even if you're very experienced with inking, but you're practicing something new, is sketch it all in first, because that way you can erase it. And um, I am inking on a watercolor paper, and I'm going to be inking with a waterproof brush pin because I want to offer you guys a how to paint flowers series once we finish up with this how to draw flower series. So I hope you guys will subscribe and stick around. Keep an eye out for those videos because I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So now we have our cherry blossom branch all sketched in. If you really wanted to, you could go ahead and watercolor now, but we're going to ink it first. So as I mentioned, we're using a Sakura Pigma FB brush pen. I like brush pins because I can get a lot of variation in line weight and FB means fine brush. So the Sakura fine brush has a really, really tiny brush pin point, brush pin point. It's very easy to use and you still get these really nice fine lines. So I'm going to ink 
flower to flower. I apologize for my hand kind of covering up what I'm doing, but you guys can see I'm starting in the center of the flower with the star shape and the pistons and the stamen, pistils and the stamen, not pistons, and then I'm working my way out to the individual petals. And I'm going to do one flower at a time, working from the bottom to the top. We've changed views just a little bit so you guys can better see what I'm doing. You can see the ruffles and the striations that I'm adding to our cherry blossoms. I'm still working heavily from reference. I know it's not visible in the video, but it's up on my computer screen the whole time. And I cannot stress enough how important it is when you're learning how to draw something, when you're new to drawing something, to use reference. You don't have to do a perfect recreation. The point isn't to do a perfect recreation. The point is to understand the forms that you're drawing, the shapes that you're drawing, and to draw what you see rather than relying on your memory. And the more you draw from reference and the more you draw what you see, you're building up a mental library that you can reference later on when you need ideas. So to me, this is great because we're doing the legwork, we're putting in the practice, we're honing our drawing skills, we're honing our critical thinking skills, we're honing our artist's eye. We are referencing and learning and understanding forms. We're thinking critically about the forms. So later on, when we want to draw these things, we don't have to have reference or we don't have to rely so heavily on our reference. So with our cherry blossoms, I'm trying to draw them from several different angles. This is going to give a more three-dimensional, more well-rounded view of our cherry blossom branch. And I think adding those ruffles to the petals really helps add this organic liveliness. So we worked our way all the way up one side, now we're working our way back down the other side. And it often helps to have a scrap sheet of paper that you can rest your hand on, and that's going to help prevent smearing as you ink your flowers. All right, so we are just about finished. Just time to ink the branch now. Um, you can opt to black it all in, go spot blacks with that, and it's gonna add a lot of contrast. It's gonna add a lot of shadow. It's gonna really make that branch seem to recede in the distance. So I wanna thank you guys so much for drawing this cherry blossom branch with me today. Hopefully you'll check out some of my other how to draw flower videos in this playlist. And if you enjoy my art, hopefully you guys will check me out on Instagram at instagram.com slash Have a wonderful day, guys.